So for the first thing to make on here is something to hold all the little gadgets that we've got. I don't like plastic bags and I think something useful uh, to hold other extra bits like my pair of scissors will be handy. So for the first project I'm actually going to give you something a little bit challenging. It's a zip purse and I find it useful. I have one for each of my machines. For another machine I have a blue one and it's a simple little um, bag to make. It's lined and it's got all the bits and bobs in it. So that goes with a specific machine that I have. So with this machine, I'm going to use this fabric. So what you need are two pieces of outside fabric, two pieces of lining fabric. Cut them all the same size and make sure that they sit in between the stopper and the slide of the zip. So there, we've got a nice lengthy zip for the bag. What we need to do is, I'm going to lay the fabric out like this, and I'm going to put the good sides together. So I'm going to lay the zip with the slider face down on the fabric like that. Okay, so that's like that there. And make sure the slide is well out of the way and I'm going to lay the lining on top. So sandwich that together. Now you can pin that in place. Make sure when you pin, you pin along that edge of the tape, not on that edge, on that edge. And then you can slide it in to the machine without fear of the knife having to cut the pins. So match it all up. So making sure everything's all equal. So I've got all three layers there and I'm going to place a pin there. I'll place, I'm going to match that up there to the edge and place a pin on this side of the tape. You can see it through the lining and I'll put one more there. Now, you may have watched other videos where I say I don't tend to use pins and clips and things. I tend to eyeball it, but for the sake of our beginners, I'm doing this. So, let's just recap. I have my fabric facing up I have my zip facing down on top of the edge of the fabric and I have my lining sitting matching the square of the main fabric. So it should all be lined up and sitting on the edge, all three together. So now I'm going to start from sewing, uh, start sewing along there. So that means lift your needles right out, make sure they're right out, lift the presser foot and tuck this in right there. So just before the fabric starts and can you see how the pins are out of the way? Use clips instead if that makes you feel more comfortable and as you get closer to the knife make sure you pull them out. So let's go. Pull that out. Can you see I'm missing the pin? And it's holding everything securely. And I'm going to carry on. And then as I come past the fabric, just lift the press of uh, the needles out. Now and then just chain up, lift the press of foot up and then I'm going to just pull that out so the zip tape is out of the way and then I'm going to chain off and then like that, done, let's cut that, there we go. So that's our, get rid of the pins, that's the first side of our bag made. Now go and press that down, pull the zip away from the fabric and lay it out nice and flat. 
and if you've done a good job there you'll find that the lining meets exactly with the edges I'm going to pop a couple of pins in there just to hold it steady okay so we'll do the same again we have our good fabric the good side going face down on the zip so it's good sides together and lay it down like that and then match it to the edges of the other pretty fabric okay so lay that like that flip it over hold it all nice and neat carefully and get our lining and lay that along the edge of our zip there we go all right so flip it all back so we're on the right way so we've got a nice sandwich there a nice zip sandwich there get our pins and we're going to pin again or clip whatever is easiest for you um, but I highly recommend it that you do this okay so there we go and I'll put one more pin in the middle oops got two there so let's place it again so needles up in the machine place the fabric so it's right before the needles making sure you don't fold that lining over okay so getting it in there so I've got the fabric just before the needles and you might be able to see that move it a bit closer towards me there we go and then we're going to whiz down the zip lining it up close to the knife but we're not chopping anything off okay and we finish just after the fabric I'm going to lift the needles out lift the presser foot up make sure I pull on my tape so grab the tape and then chain off like that and let's cut the end there we go you can see which side I've pressed and which side I haven't so let's take that back to the iron and give that a press as well okay so the zip is going to sit this way so can you see what will happen with the tape I want the tape to be like that so I'll tell you what we'll do seeing as we're at the iron anyway already why don't we give it a good press now so let's press that like that and it will just help us later open up the main fabric there okay what we're going to do stitch all the way around this bag we need to make sure our zip is open about halfway and we need to have a turning hole so that we can get in there to flip the whole bag around grab my favorite pen Let's open the zip. We have pressed it, so it will be easy. What I'll do is I'll put a pin there so it doesn't move too much. Okay. Open the zip about halfway. Okay. You see that's halfway open. Make sure the tapes are close together. pop a pin in there and then we're going to allow the knife to cut that the knife is quite powerful a lot stronger than you might imagine it will be but it will quite happily and quite easily cut through these nylon coils so we'll just whiz through and we're going to leave a turning hole there so hopefully you can see my blue line there I'm going to bring my needles just above the line put the presser foot down and I'll stitch to the end and come our way. So come off there, cut that down, and I'm going to just bring this in. I'm trimming off the uneven bits. See, 
and nobody will know. Let's cut those away. Don't worry about tidying the edges just on this project. We'll, we'll do that on a later stage. So remember how we need to have our zip. We need to have the zip so that it is facing, let's remind ourselves, that way. Okay, say what we could have done. We could have placed a pin in there so that it doesn't shift when we get to it. Okay, let's do that. You don't have to keep lifting the presser foot either. You just roll on through. Okay, now be careful, watch your fingers because you might be tempted to push that in. And actually what they've done is they've put a stopper there. See how easily that just bit off the end of the zip? Looking good so far. There we go. Just trim off the ends. Now don't forget we've got the turning hole here, so don't stitch over that. So what we'll do is we will get to the turning hole and we will stop when we see the blue line in that gap. There it is. Okay, so we're going to just bring the needles right out, lift the presser foot up and then we pull that out of the way and chain off. There we go. And what we need to do is remove all the pins. How easy and how quick is this? You'll be so impressed with yourself with your new toy. And if you're a craft stall holder, you'll be whizzing these up for your craft fairs. But can you see how much mess you make? Let me show you how much mess you make. <laughs> so you need something here, a bin or something to catch all your threads. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's pull everything through. all out through the zip. I'll just open that zip a bit more. There we go. And there we are. Ta-da! You have completed your first project on your overlocker. How amazing is that? Let's just go back to our turning hole. So let's pull that out. So you might have your bag looking like that and you go, oh no, what's happened? <laughs> just push it back into the bag. Okay, so let's find the turning hole. You've got options here. You can uh, whiz it down on the overlocker if you want to. You can do a hand stitch, which is what I think I might do or you might want to do it on the sewing machine. So either way, whichever method you choose to use, make sure you uh, close that hole because you might lose bits inside the lining. Okay, I have a double thread and I'm going to tie a knot. Oops, tie a knot in there. I'm going to go inside the stitching you might want to do a ladder stitch here. So we'll just do a ladder stitch, keep going. And I hope this video has helped you. If it has, make sure you subscribe. I've got lots of new projects for you. So there's my purse, my scissors, my clips. Let's get rid of this plastic bag. In the bin it goes. My spare needles. This is a brilliant gadget, love that. My Allen key, screwdriver and tweezers. 